now using for the Atalanta and uh, uh, football tournament. An electronic board instead of using plastic board, using a marker pen, now we have an electronic board created by a young man from Kiambu called Zaki. And so there is no doubt that young Kenyans can innovate, they can imagine a brand new prosperous Kenya. And this initiative we have just launched is the platform, is the wind in their sails. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm expecting really the youth of Kenya to rally around this, mm -hmm. driven by Ken Invest, and also rally around the Foundation Innovation Challenge, driven by the Kenya National Innovation Agency, and just drive Kenya to prosperity mm -hmm. and help expand employment opportunities. And like all young people, we can be more than seekers of employment and become co-creators of employment. Mm -hmm. We know we know we have the machinani uh, things that are, are going uh, on right now, and uh, how are you planning to reach that boy in the village that doesn't know about any social media uh, things that are you know the way we we normally do social media things? And there are those people who are talented and they don't know how to to be able to get to these spaces. Two ways, two things. Number one, we have to build strong partnerships. We have to join dots. You have seen me go on and on and on on the significance of counties being part of this, members of parliament being part of this, county assemblies and ward representatives, our MCS being part of this, civil society organizations being part of this, youth groups, community groups. This is a whole ecosystem of partnerships because it's not just being done by, and you have seen, Kenyans has started off by showing you the purpose. I know a network like Radical has got a network of young people across Kenya. So we will answer that question of inclusivity by encouraging broad-based partnerships. And we are asking everyone, please plug in. County assemblies, county governments, MCAs, our members of parliament, please plug in. Civil society, community-based organizations, plug in. We want everybody to be part of this web. Number two, we want everybody to really take advantage of the digital superhighway. This government has invested heavily in the digital superhighway. And the digital space, the virtual space, is the one. What has COVID taught us? COVID has taught us that we are so interconnected. What happens in one corner of the world affects another corner of the world. And the digital space is the forum of that interaction. So this program has to go virtual, it has to go digital. The Kenya uh, National Innovation Agency, under our ministry, has already put the Presidential Innovation Challenge online. And one of the things we should be discussing with Kenya Invest, with the Kenya National Innovation Agency, is how to support young people at the grassroots to acquire DG skills, digital skills, and then acquire digital uh, equipment mm -hmm. so that they're part of this through the digital space so that we do it both physically and digitally. And, and lastly, maybe Wasili, because uh, we know that uh, we've had uh, senior teams in, in both uh, Kenya Queens and uh, Arambi Stars. How are you going to bring these young uh, girls and boys who, who are still in high schools to be able to represent us in national uh, spaces because uh, for a good while we've not had uh, junior teams for the national team. You know, until we rope in the grassroots and the youngsters, Kenya will never really hit the top of sports, in many sports. Mm -hmm. You have seen that even previously, sports where we have been very dominant, like rugby, sevens for instance, mm -hmm. or even the 3,000 meter stages are areas where we have stumbled in recent times because of ignoring that pipeline of going to the grassroots and getting tapping into the young talents. We have an answer. We have actually fixed that problem. Mm -hmm. And the, the silver bullet is Talanta Hela. Talanta Hela is an initiative that is now getting firmly rooted into the grassroots. And our priority target for Talanta Hela is the schooling ecosystem. I'm very happy to amplify the fact that all the activities that have taken in schools, taken place in schools this year, the Drum and Film Festival, the ball games, and the music festival.